Understanding I've Grown Weary, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the phrase, I've grown weary. This phrase might sound simple, but it's packed with meaning and is a great example of how English speakers often express feelings. Let's explore this together. First, let's break down, I've grown weary. This phrase is a combination of the verb, to grow, and the adjective, weary. When we say, grow, in this context, it doesn't mean to physically increase in size. Instead, it means to gradually become something. The word, weary, means feeling tired, exhausted, or lacking energy. Not just physically but also emotionally or mentally. So, when someone says, I've grown weary, they're expressing that they have gradually become tired or exhausted. Now, let's see how it's used in everyday conversations. I've grown weary is often used to express a deep level of tiredness or frustration. It's more than just being physically tired after a day's work. It's a feeling that develops over a longer period. For example, after many years in the same job, I've grown weary of the routine. She's grown weary of the city life and wants to move to the countryside. In these examples, the phrase is used to express a gradual loss of interest or enthusiasm. Understanding synonyms can help you better grasp the meaning. Other ways to express a similar sentiment include, I'm tired of, I'm fed up with, I've had enough of. Each of these can be used in slightly different contexts but conveys a similar sense of growing tiredness or dissatisfaction. It's important to note the cultural and emotional weight of this phrase. In English-speaking cultures, saying, I've grown weary, can be a polite and indirect way of expressing discontent or the need for a change. It's less abrupt than saying, I'm tired of this, and can convey a sense of thoughtfulness and depth of feeling. That's all for our exploration of, I've grown weary. Remember, this phrase is more than just about physical tiredness. It's about expressing a gradual and profound sense of exhaustion or dissatisfaction. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.